Richard, what opening week matchup are you most looking forward to? I'm going to say Phoenix Golden State. I think there's a lot there. I think these are two teams that when you look at how they kind of finished their season and, and the changes that yeah. were made, uh, and then you go into this offseason, like you see a restructuring, you see the moves, you see all the things. And really, when these two teams get going, you know that there's a chance that they can meet in the postseason. This is early on. If they do what they're expected to do, these teams have an opportunity to meet in the postseason. We've already seen the book. We saw that Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson said he was just frustrated. We <laughs> saw him on Paul George's podcast talking about that. But I think there's a lot of energy there, a lot of veterans there, a lot of history. KD in the building for the first time. Finally. Yeah, finally. So there's a lot of positive we'll things in that one. <laughs> we'll see. We thought it was going to happen like four other yeah. times. I'm going to go with the rookie with the golden hair, the number one pick. The Ooh, whole world yeah. is going to be Ooh. watching Victor Wembignana's home debut in Texas, in San Antonio with Luca in the house. I'm, I'm really excited about seeing this kid. I know it's been a lot of pressure, a lot of things going on. Britney Spears making it tough on him. But, uh, you know, I, I think he's got Richard his laugh. wind under his back. And uh, that is going to be... You know, and also because they had two Hall of Famers with Tony Parker and Pop, they'll probably announce in that game as well. All the, uh, the Spurs stars will be in the house. I'm going to go. I think okay. I'm going to make that Whoa. game. Oh, okay. Prickly pear margaritas. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Texas. You know, I'm down for a trip to Texas. You know yeah. what I'm be saying? Be careful there. Yeah. I, I, I also going to say Wemby. Like, I, I, I always think that when you have truly special players in the NBA, their first game matters. Like, the first look of them in the regular season when the lights are on and it matters. People remember that. LeBron James had 26 points his first game. Let's see what Wemby does. I don't, I don't know how much they're going to let him play. I, we don't know if they're going to start him. We don't know how, what they're going to do with him in this first opening look that we get him. But I like that the NBA put him on this in this opening week in a marquee oh. matchup. Let's let's see him, right? Let's see him. Let's not let's not shield him too long. No, and I agree with both of you guys mainly. But this is what I want to tell you: temper your expectations. Uh, no, I get when, that. When, sure. when Tim Duncan that. came in, he was 21, 22 years old. When David Robinson came in, he was like 24 because he went True. to the you know, Navy Academy and then took a year. So it was like these guys. When you're comparing him to those centers and those Hall of Famers, they were far more developed when they showed up. So but the world don't listen to that. I'm yeah, just, also, just, when you're social media when you're don't. I know. He only played 44 games last year. I, like, I he, just, I yeah, know. but when you're talking about centers that are future, you know, Hall of Famers, prospectively, they're literally building centers around him. So I, you have expectations for him opening <laughs> night. Perk, what are your thoughts? Well, I was just wondering when I was going to get my time. Richard went first, then the you went legend Mark Spears went You went first. You went first. No, 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 I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking about Richard taking up all the time. Just shut up. I'm going Where's with the Sacramento the Kings and the know. Golden Sacramento Kings and the Golden State Warriors. Do we remember the eyeballs and the viewership that that series had? And last first round series are cute, bro. The Aaron first Fox, round series are the, cute. The Aaron Fox. The Aaron Fox and Steph Curry going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Steph Curry had to have a meeting before they walked into that game seven. Harrison Boyd, we already know that little tension that he has going against a team that he won a championship but then had to be traded because of Kevin Durant. Then we looking at some bonus and Draymond Green, that matchup. I'm ready to see if Malik Monk added anything to his game. Hey, we Perk, saw I Keegan like Murray sack too. in two games in the summer. I like that it's yeah, in sack. Listen, we saw, a better team. We, saw Ke won, we saw Keegan Murray. We yeah. saw how he looked in those two summer league games, putting on those 8 to 10 pounds of muscle. I'm ready to see that action right there. Yeah, just Everybody like, go watch it. Just like Richard's monologue, the list goes on and on. And You're uh, the one talking ow, today, wow. but we've got so much more to get. Cue the music, uh, Director Kathy. What? what? Do we have any? Oh, is this? Hey! Hey, okay. okay, it's officially Christmas <laughs> in August. Rob, oh. I had you out with the game. I had you, I had you. <laughs> no like, Christmas we music. Myself. We can like, now it. confirm the holiday slate of NBA games, but first we're welcoming, welcoming in Roz Goldenwood Day. Let's get to it. Let's run through those games on December 25th. Giannis and the Bucks are coming to Madison Square Garden for the early game. It'll be the Knicks' 56th Christmas Day game, the most all time. Milwaukee swept the Knicks in their three games last season. Now, stop it. Oh, on ABC and ESPN at 2.30, we've got Warriors at Nuggets. Steph versus, versus the Joker. Denver owned this series last season, going 3-0 versus 
versus the Warriors. Now staying on both ABC and ESPN, and for the third time ever on Christmas, Boston Celtics at the LA Lakers. The last time they met on Christmas was in 2008 in a rematch of the NBA Finals. It will also be LeBron's 18th Christmas Day game, extending his own NBA record. That's wild. Now at 8 p.m., Miami hosts Philly. The Heat have the highest win percentage of any team on Christmas with an 11-2 all-time record. Joel Embiid is 3-1 in his four career Christmas games. He's then, the next the, that part, yeah. the nightcap, <laughs> Mavericks at Suns. This will be Devin Booker and Luka Doncic's third career appearances on Christmas. New son, Bradley Bill said he wanted to play, quote, meaningful games. Well, this will be his first. I'm about to say, have you ever played on this Christmas 20, Day? This is his first time. Oh Congratulations, <laughs> Bradley, man. This is what we wanted for you, bro. This is what we wanted progress, for you. Progress. Congratulations. He made it. We can't Before talk we about Christmas without the one and only uh, Santa Perk. But first, <laughs> let's start with Roz. Roz, you're probably going to be working Christmas Day games. Which one are you most looking forward to? Well, which one do I want to be assigned? Or <laughs> <laughs> that part. No, I, um, I, I, I want to see the defending champions uh, on Christmas Day. I want to see the Nuggets and the Warriors. I want to see the Nuggets. Coach Malone felt really confident that they would have an opportunity to run it back. They weren't done with just one. You got to double down on the chemistry then. And, and Cheney, I thought it was really significant to see Aaron Gordon go all the way to Serbia to go dive into the passions of what his teammate loves in Nikola Jokic and horse racing. You know, <laughs> RJ, people talk, people talk sure. about how big you were to the Cavs chemistry and building up what that team, how close the team was. I think Aaron Gordon does that for the Nuggets. He also got Jamal Murray, um, a really nice diamond pendant right ahead of the finals because he was proud of the season that he had. What a nice teammate. Mm -hmm. And also Jamal Murray not playing in Canada. He can just focus on the Nuggets mm -hmm. now and last season coming <laughs> off the ACL. I feel like we're going to get to see him coming in with no limitations. Maybe there's another level. So I'm excited to see that. Plus Steph. Oh, okay, so. Steph Listen, let, 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 Plus Steph. One, one of the things, yes, Aaron Gordon's amazing. He's an Arizona guy. Oh, we That's know that why. was coming. Yeah. Arizona guys, they're just, they're just, except for Gilbert Arenas. He's, 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 he's clueless. <laughs> you but don't claim most, him? Most Arizona guys, Steve Kerr, very, very good people, right? Shout out to Aaron Gordon. But I, I, I'm the same way. The same game. That's the game that I'm looking for. I saw their Christmas Day last game. Last year I did their game. Uh, Aaron Gordon put on a show. They put on a show is an outstanding game but I think the Denver Nuggets they are on a quest to repeat you can get the one they have the talent for three or four over the next 10 years in my opinion because Jokic is young Jamal Murray's young their core is so they have a stretch to win two or three so this is where it starts you've won one there's a lot of disappointing years coming up to this with injuries you've won one what do you do now and I think the Denver Nuggets are poised to repeat and it starts at the beginning of the season and obviously Christmas Day you guys, it's the Lakers and the Celtics. <laughs> right. What are we talking about? It's the Lakers and the Celtics. That's the best rivalry in basketball. I mean, I, I'm also watching Winning Time Season 2 right now. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Pat Riley with the speech. We don't just want a box? championship. We right. want their championship. Oh, Lakers <laughs> Boston is always the game. I was at that 2008 game, which is the last time the Lakers and Celtics played on Christmas Day. And that thing was, we were expecting fireworks at that game because the Lakers had lost in the finals to the Celtics. And they didn't just lose in the finals to the Celtics. They were the, the fans in Boston kind of crowded their bus and they were shaking the bus and there was some ill will there. Yeah, just saying hello. Yeah, okay. So, Friendly. So whenever those two teams play, it's a little something extra. I also think we should point out LeBron James is at home for this one, which is a nice present for him and going into his 21st year. Crazy. And, and yeah, that is I mean, a big, that's a bonus, right? You have to earn your way to get that home game. The defending champ should get the home game. And I thought that was nice that they gave LeBron James a home game on Christmas. Oh, that's fair. Santa Perk, what's the verdict? <laughs> once again, Richard. Once again, Richard is wrong and Ramon is right. Thank you. We're talking oh. about arguably the biggest, biggest rivalry in sports, not just in basketball, but the Celtics and yeah. Lakers. Every time they match up, it feels like a finals game. Do we remember what happened last year? Do we remember Patrick Beverly with the camera? Yeah. And I know it wasn't on. Christmas Day, but it happened. The emotions LeBron James was showing on the floor after that horrible call or when he thought he got fouled. Jason. These <laughs> games are intense, and you would never know the feeling as a former player unless you actually was in the moment. I was in the moment, whether it was the NBA Finals or regular season. Every time you match up the Celtics and the Lakers, it is must-see TV, and it's the biggest game 
of that day. Look, Period. first of all, it said, what games are you most forward look at, like, looking forward to watching? I don't care about it. Look, I played the Celtics on Christmas Day. We blew them out by 30. It's not that It's not that exciting okay, for me. Richard. It's not that enough. exciting for me to watch enough. the Celtics. I'm excited to watch the defending enough. champions. No, you were still in high school. I was. Ooh, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say it's the Celtics and the Lakers. Yeah, so and in 2008, the, the Celtics the, lost. The so I'm not excited to watch the sports. Celtics on one Christmas Day. One of the greatest rivalries in sports. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, okay, good. Is that a de- Is that a? Is that a denim shirt? Oh, yeah, you like it? It is a denim and shirt. And he's got a little tan. No, I don't. Your face it on that I just gave you. Yeah. Next time, next time you see Momo some gave, me a, Momo wow. gave me a, 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 a Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor Swift. Okay. Taylor Swift. I've, I've never heard a song of hers, but I have a break. Wow, let's just leave that for the break. Am I a Swifty now? You're not. You am absolutely am I, am are not. Can I borrow that denim shirt for the rest of the hundred percent. That's it. Beyonce is not a sport. Don't wear that. Don't wear that. This is my last day. Now it's time to get to those ESPN ABC marquee matchups on January 27th. The first big weekend of 2024 kicks off with a triple header on ABC starting at 3 Eastern with the Heat visiting the Knicks in a rematch of the East semis that the Heat took in six games last playoffs. Then at 5.30, it's a big matchup between the last two MVPs, Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic, when the Sixers take on the Nuggets. Embiid went for what? 47, we think 18, Embiid will play? and 5 stop it in their only <laughs> matchup last season. <laughs> and then the day finishes with another playoff rematch when LeBron faces Steph for the first time since the Lakers became the first West team to eliminate the Warriors in the Steve Kerr era. Let's dive in more. Here's a look at the full schedule of Lakers-Warriors matchups. After that first matchup on the 27th, they play once a month over February, March, and April. The March 16 game in L.A. being an ABC Saturday showcase game. All right, Pam. Those are some massive heavyweight battles. Why did you say it was smart? Because, like, the battles are Embiid yeah. versus Jokic. Maybe. LeBron versus Steph. Yeah. Why do you like, <laughs> I why do you like this it matchup? Begins. No, I, I, I think it's smart because January 27th, it's, it's, it's our company. It's their first, uh, the nightcap, and you got the Lakers and the Warriors playing for the first time this season. Christmas will be passed. MLK will be passed. And finally, the matchup that everybody wants to see, Steph, LeBron, they're the two most popular players in the league. Like, have been yeah. for a decade. This is the, the one game that is going to be probably the latest on the slate, other than maybe Ja Morant's return that everybody wants to see. So, no, nah, I'm, I'm super excited about this game. I'm super excited anytime these two guys play. It's must see television. Tim, do you want to watch that or do you want to watch Embiid versus Jokic? I want to watch Embiid <laughs> versus Jokic. Will we? We'll see. I mean, listen, the simple fact of the matter is Joel Embiid has not played in Denver in Denver since November 2019. Now, there's been injuries. There was a COVID there's thing. Been, there's been rest. I think there might be Cap some thing. kind of... Four years ago? I believe he's developed an, uh, uh, an allergic reaction to altitude, oh perhaps. <laughs> uh, no, I, no, they call it the, no, they call it the Serbian flu. That's what oh. it is called. Okay, it's called the Serbian flu. Can I get, can I, can I, I want to see the highlight. Miss Kathy, can, can I please just, I, I just see yourself. I need to see a statement. I may need to make a statement. <laughs> I just need to make a statement. We're, 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 it's coming. Sorry, it's coming. So, no, 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 okay, here okay, we go. Okay, okay, okay. So, listen. So, it's called the Serbian flu. It, it's, it's been diagnosed. There's lots of variations. It's, it used to be the Shaq flu. It used to be the Kobe flu. <laughs> it used to be the MJ flu. There are a lot of different flus. So, right now, it's the Serbian flu. And let me say this, Joel. I do not think that you are ducking Jokic. I just want to make this clear. But from this point on, I will be saying that you are ducking Jokic until you guys play. I'm going to say you ducked him until you guys do play because I saw you dominate him in Philly. He didn't get a chance for the backup in, in Denver. So all I'm going to say is that you're ducking Jokic, and I can't wait to see what's about to happen. How are you going to respond? Wow. Wow. I'm not, yeah. I can, naughty, naughty, naughty. And explain all the reasons why he Yeah, don't do that. We ain't got time for that. Yeah, we, we don't, don't want to hear any of that. It's an hour show. We don't have that But much I do want to see that, too, because yes. I really do think those two guys, like, those two guys actually do really respect each other. They really like playing against each other. And I think now Jokic has won. And it's on Joel Embiid to answer. Like, Jokic won his title, and it's on Embiid to answer him now. And I think these, these head-to-head matchups, for the last few years, it's been about Jokic and Embiid for the MVP. Now it's about for titles. The MVP does. They both won MVPs. It's not about that anymore. And so I think that's the game we all want to see. You know, Steph and LeBron, I always want to see that, but I feel like that's the Elton John retirement tour that went on for three. Whoa. <laughs> like, wait, wait, it's always going. 
thing. It's as just, long as we don't come Every wow. time we watch it, it's like, okay, is it the last time? As long as, as, long as we... LeBron's like the Rolling Stones. Like, yeah, every year, it's the last, last, last year. Jay-Z concert. As long as we don't come for a Renaissance World Tour. That's all I ask. Oh, no, uh, I'm, we not talk... stu- I'm not stupid. Okay, good. Uh, we talked to oh. Embiid. We talked to Jokic. We talked to Steph LeBron. How about Giannis, y'all? Because another huge weekend to circle on the national television calendar is February 25th. ESPN and ABC will have four matchups, marquee ones, one Eastern when Giannis and the Bucks visit Philly to take on Embiid and the Sixers. Then at 3.30, LeBron James and Kevin Durant, they renew acquaintances in Phoenix for a fourth and final time this season. Although, remember, these guys haven't faced off since Christmas 2018 before this year. Next is a matchup of the last two Western Conference champions when Jokic and the Nuggets head to the Bay to take on Steph and the Warriors. And then, y'all, the day finishes off with the Kings visiting the Clippers on ESPN. Expect plenty of points in that one, y'all, because last time they played in L.A., they combined for over 350 points. Here's a look. What? (laughs) You crazy. Here's here's a look at the team with the most national television games. I love it. With the Warriors leading the way, y'all, with the most TV, televised games at 41, followed by the Lakers with 40 and the Suns with 37. I wanted to, like, submit a most improved television schedule because, like, it's kind of cool. The, nuggets. the fact that they have 30 national teams, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. That's from respect for the defending champs. What are you most interested in, Mr. Mark Spears? I'm, I'm going to go off the, the path. Oh, I like it. I'm going to go to the bayou. Ooh. Ooh. I want to see the Pelicans, oh. man. Come on, Zion. Oh, oh, Zion, oh, man. Come oh, on, Zion. Oh. It's time. <laughs> Come on. Let's get past the drama. Let's get past the IG stuff. <laughs> oh, good. And let's That's play ball. Fine. I don't mind the IG B-I- stuff. Just, just B- be on the court. Yeah, yeah. B.I. Be be will be better. <laughs> yeah. You got the kid Dyson playing for Australia. Those two guys from the World Cup, they'll be better. But Zion. Let's go. It's time. When the Pelicans had Zion, they had the top team in the Western Conference. I want to see them healthy. All 20. I want to see how good this team could be. (laughs) No, I agree with you. Look, Zion is is must-see TV, but he has to play. So I will not be. That's why I'm intrigued by them. You're intrigued by them? That's very intriguing. Yeah. Who else are you going to play yet? Just make sure he's going to play. Who am I? There's there's about five people on the make sure you want to play list right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.